today we will see single line diagram of EHVHV substation. In this video, we will learn about only single line diagram of a transformer bay. So let us start by drawing the EHV bus on the HV side of a transformer and HV bus on the LV side of the transformer. Here, one must note that transformer is the main equipment that we need to measure its current voltage, protect it and carry out maintenance work. Based on this, substation equipments are classified as first measuring equipment such as current transformer and potential transformer which indirectly helps to measure the power. So CT and PT are placed in a single line diagram as shown here. Next are the protection equipments such as circuit breaker and LA. Lightning arresters are always placed closest to the power transformer since its protection is of prime importance. And circuit breaker are placed here as shown in the single line diagram. And at last are the maintenance equipments such as isolator and earth switch. They are placed in the single line diagram as shown here. So here it completes the SLD of a transformer bay TR1. Similarly, a substation can have number of transformer bay such as TR2, TR3 and then its SLD will be as shown here. Let us see a practical overview of a 66 by 11 kV transformer in a substation. Here the LV part that is 11 kV is indoor and only the HV part is outdoor which we will see and try to understand later on. So the first thing you see is the power transformer itself. After that comes the LA lightning arrestor. Then are the CT current transformers. After that a circuit breaker is placed as shown here. Then comes the isolator or we can also say as the 66 kV bus isolators and at last is the 66 kV bus. With this it completes a very clear representation of SLD of a transformer. Wait. Now let us try to understand it with a top view of transformer way comparing it with SLD and at the right side bottom is the autocad drawing of the SLD. Here one can see side by side comparison of power transformer LA then comes the CT after that circuit breaker followed by an isolator then comes the bus it can be of any class and at last is the PT bay so you can see the PT bay over here in the next upcoming video we will see the line bay in a substation for more upcoming videos keep on like subscribe and share